These colors don't bleed. Hey Power Director peeps, it's the weekend and today I'm going to show you how to make the color fade effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. If you're ready to get some color fadiness going on in your video, I want you to put hashtag color fade in the comment section below. Here we are in Power Director. The color fade effect lets you change your video from color to black and white to create a super cool effect for your videos. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the color fade effect for your videos. Let's get colored. That ain't even sound right. As you can see, I have a clip of a beautiful flower and a little bee in the media library. And if I click on play, you get a preview. Look at that little bee. He's so cute. Or she, whatever it is. I don't know. But watch out because it'll sting you and it'll hurt like a mother. All right, let's go ahead and stop that. The first thing that you want to do is you want to bring the clip into track one. So I'm going to left click on it with my mouse. Hold down my left mouse button. I'm going to drag this down to track one. And then you want to place the exact same clip right underneath the first clip but you want to place it in track two so i'm going to left click hold down my left mouse button and i'm going to drag this down to track two right underneath the first track for a tutorial these clips are kind of long so i'm going to trim them down a little bit as a matter of fact i'm going to really split them so i'm going to move my playhead to a position where i want to make that split i'm going to left click and then at this position i'm going to go ahead and click on the split button it split that second clip because that was the last clip I put in there. So now I'm going to click on the first clip and I'm going to click on the split button again. And now both of the clips have been split. So since the first clip is already selected, I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm going to click on the second clip. This will select both of these clips. Now I'm going to click on the trash bin and it will get rid of them. So now I have two of the exact same clip in these tracks. It's still color. So what we need to do now is change the clip on track two, which is the overlay track to a black and white clip. So I'm going to left click on this clip on track two. I'm going to go to fix enhance. And I'm going to enable the color presets and LUTs. And then I'm going to click on colorless city. So that made the clip on track two, black and white. Now, if you want to make some more adjustments and you can tweak it however you want, I'm going to make a few tweaks. I'm going to click on color adjustment to enable that. And I'm going to bring the brightness down a little bit. I'm going to bring down the saturation as well. And I'm going to bring the contrast up. I like how that looks, so I'm going to click on close to close out the fix and enhance feature. And now if we play this back, because we made the overlay track clip black and white, all we see is black and white. But we need to create that fade so that the clip on the bottom fades to the clip on top. So I'm going to move my playhead back to the beginning here. I'm going to click on the clip on track two and I'm going to go to the transition room. I'm going to go to general and I'm going to hold down my left mouse over the fade transition and I'm going to drag the fade transition to the beginning of the clip on track two. Here we see this little box and that means that we have the clip on the right location. If we don't put it exactly at the right spot at the beginning. You're not going to see that little box. So until you see that little box, you want to move your mouse around. Usually it's at the bottom of the video part of the clip. So go ahead and let go of your left mouse and then the transition is added. I want the fade to be longer. I want it to take a while for it to transition from black and white to color. So I'm going to change the duration of this. I'm going to actually place my cursor at the end of this transition until I see two arrows point in opposite direction. I'm going to hold on my left mouse. I'm going to drag this out to the duration that I want. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So now that I got everything set up, I'm going to go ahead and play this back. 
See what it looks like. Color to black and white with the greatest of ease. If you want the effect to happen faster, you make your transition shorter. If you want the effect to happen slower, you need to make your transition longer, okay? Now, you can reverse the clip tracks and the transition to make the effect change from black and white to color. So if you want it to be reversed, you wanna go ahead and move the clip on track one to track three. You wanna remove this transition. I'll just go ahead and click on it and I'm gonna click on the delete key on my keyboard. And you wanna drag that transition down to the clip on track three. Now the color clip is on track three. So now you can drag out your transition. So now that I've reversed those clips and reversed the transition, now you'll see that it's gonna actually fade from black and white to color. Voila, my friends, voila. And that's how you make the color fade effect in Cyberlink PowerDirector 18 and PowerDirector 365. If you decide that you like PowerDirector and you want to buy or upgrade to the software or purchase a 365 annual subscription, I have links to all of those options in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.